Hey everyone, this is Grant Nader with State of the Spark and the Spark Site, Spark My Site Project. Check us out at sparkmysite.com. Um, this is your April training. Happy April. I hope you guys are kicking butt. Today I want to cover the top one thing you can do to improve your search ranking, your search ranking and your SEO. We've covered a lot of things like getting into the Google Search Console. That was a little complicated for some of you. This thing is zero complicated. You can get it done if you took your time and about a total of two hours worth of uh, uh, work less than that for some of you about a half hour for some of you uh, or we could do this for you for fifty dollars if you're a member okay it's just one of those extra services we do but I want to empower you to be able to do it yourself so real quick the top one thing you can do have you ever done a Google search and you didn't see the person you were looking for the business you were looking for show up in the search results but in the right hand side came up a little card and that card showed up photos a map the website the hours all of that stuff that right there is what's called a Google my business listing so this is the top thing you can do if you haven't done it already now if you have done it stick with me I'm gonna show you how to improve that thing big time in a quick second so real quick claim your business on Google my biz here's how you do it Google just came in brought a partner in uh, through the ledger media and propel media they brought this guy in he had a great presentation and he said you need to do this listing but they didn't tell us exactly how to do the listing. Here's what we do. Go to google.com forward slash business. It'll come up, there'll be a little sign in button. You click sign in and log in. You use any Google service at all, you already have a login, just use the same login. Don't create a new one, use the same login. That way anytime you log into Google, you log into this too. There'll be a little wizard that pops up and it'll give you steps, but long story short, add your listing. It'll ask for the address, it'll ask for the name, it'll ask for the description. Get really detailed in that description so that your SEO juice, because you're also gonna enter in your website, um, your SEO juice will start correlating this listing with your website. If some of you will have availability to do a phone confirmation, some of you, we didn't even have that, but if you do, go ahead and say, give me a phone confirmation, they'll call you immediately, and then you just pick up the phone and go, yeah, this is me, and then they'll confirm you right there. We didn't have that. We had the mail only option. So if you have a mailing or a postcard mailing only option, go ahead and initiate it. Then you'll wait five to 10 business days and you get this little postcard. It looks like it's from Google. Make sure your secretary, your assistant, your friends, your family, don't throw it away. When that comes in, it'll be a little postcard to have a little six or seven digit code on it. Um, so once five to, 10, uh, five to 10 business days are up, once it arrives, just enter in the code. Go back to google.com, my business, Go to that listing, click verify, enter the code, boom, you're done. Fantastic. Now, very few businesses are doing this on their own. Other people can claim your business if you don't do it now. And someone's searching for you or someone has entered your business, they can try to claim it. So you go ahead and take the initiative, claim this business now. I've had several clients where I've had to go back and go, no, that was just a marketing company who was claiming that business for them. We had to reclaim that for some of you guys. You guys know who you are. So I'm encouraging the rest of you, jump on the gun and do this yourself. Now, once you have your listing, sometimes those listings are kind of crappy. We don't want that. We want you to have a great listing. So here's what you can do. Number one, go to your app store, either the Android app store or the iTunes or the iOS app store install the Google My Business app. It'll look like a little Tienda, a little storefront there, and it'll allow you to update a lot of this information as it changes real time, or we take photos with our cell phones. It'll allow you to upload those photos right to your listing. Then uh, make sure you add your additional information like your hours, your menu if you have one, your services, your parking locations, enter in all the information you can because the more well-rounded that profile is, the more Google wants to serve it to people. Specific categories, some of you, let's say you're a grocery store, you might enter the category grocery store, forget that. Are you, a, are you focused on meats like the Harvest Meat Market? Are you focused on organic? Whatever it is, type in exactly what you are. Get more, the more specific, the better. Replace your photos. Your photos have got to be Instagram worthy. If you wouldn't post it on Instagram and try to be there, Get rid of your amateur photos. It looks like amateur hour and people are assessing based on that little, with that Google search listing with the results and that card. If they see crappy photos, they're gonna think this is their best foot forward. Forget that, put really good photos there. Then ask your top five loyal customers to give you reviews, prime that pump. It feels a little staged. Well, you would have asked them for reviews if you were taking Google reviews before. 
ask them for those reviews now. It'll prime the pump. People love seeing those three, four, five star reviews in that listing. So go ahead and ask your top five people, hey, would you, would you do a quick review for me on Google? Thanks. Last but not least, some of you think Google Plus is dead. Relative to other social networks, it is dead. Relative to Google Search and the 45 million people using Google Plus still, it's not dead. My point is, once you install the app on your phone, you're gonna upload photos to your listing, that's fine, but you can post as your business on Google Plus. Hopefully you're posting as your business on Facebook. Hopefully you're posting on your business on other locations, but also if you're posting on Google Plus, that's more SEO juice that Google is always searching its own services for are you posting in other places? So those are my tips on how to improve your listing. That's how you go ahead and claim your business. And this is the top one thing you can do to start your SEO. You can do it yourself or you can ask me, Marissa, Jenna, Eli, Lori. We can do that for you. So thanks for your business, guys. Ask us your questions. We're going to try to build a library of Q&A. We thank you, Kick Butt, this month in, in April. And we look forward to seeing you soon.